Well, hello, beautiful people. And today's vlog, you guys, is going to be all about how we are getting our house ready for Halloween, you guys. This is our first time decorating our house for Halloween ever. And so if you want to see how we get this house spooky for Halloween, then definitely keep on watching. All right, you guys. So like I mentioned, we are getting our house all ready for Halloween. And I am just going to tell you guys really quickly where um, our decor came from. And then towards the end of the video, I'll give you a more thorough rundown of where the items are from. And so in this video, I'll be featuring pieces from Dollar Tree, Michaels, At Home, and Amazon. And so yeah, stay tuned closer to the end so that way you can get a full rundown. Now y'all know... I am the queen of getting on ladders when I shouldn't be getting on ladders. And in this instance, I had to call in reinforcement from Joe because the way that the spider web is and how tall the ladder was getting and how short I am, y'all, the math was not mathing. And so I had to get Joe to come out to put the spider web up. And so he's going to put this up for me so I do not have a tragic fall. And then I can begin my decorating. Y'all, I can't with Nora. She is definitely the best little helper there is. She thinks that she can do anything that any of us can do. We're definitely in that stage of her copy and everything. So y'all just look at her trying to help me put this spider web in the yard. So now that the spider web is all laid out, it is time to add our faux spiders. So I'm just going to add two um, spiders to the web and the legs of the spider, they kind of feel like pipe cleaners. And so I'm just going to clasp these around um, the netting and so that way they don't fly with the, um, with the weather because we are having just windy weather here. And so me clamping these to the actual web and definitely cuts down on them flying away. So now it is time to add the yard sign. I typically like to do either a flag or a yard sign. Um, and nine times out of 10, my yard signs are DIY or semi DIY. And so stay tuned to the end, you guys, to see how I actually made this yard sign. All right, y'all, just ignore this dead plant that is on my front porch. I got this plant from Lowe's. It said it could withstand a lot of sun, and the lie detector determined that was a lie. And so right now, I'm getting ready to just clean the patio furniture. I like to clean just about everything with Pine Sol. This a patio trio 
I got this from Amazon. It is in my Amazon storefront and I have that linked in my description box below. Um, this was definitely a great buy. It was also a gift from my parents um, as a housewarming gift. So yeah, you guys, definitely um, if you are in the market for rocking chairs, this is definitely a great set. So right here, I'm just adding this faux pumpkin with some faux flowers with a faux velvet spider. And so, yes, yeah, so I'm just adding that and then adding back the centronella candles. The seat cushions that are in the rocking chairs, those are from at home. I got those this summer. If you watch my front porch makeover, it's on the um, in that video as well. So just look in my Just Living Life 2023 playlist and you can see how I decorated this front porch for just universal use. So I started decorating for fall a couple weeks ago and I was like, eh, I'm just not into it. My mom got this wreath from Hobby Lobby a while ago and she just didn't want it. So she gave it to me. And so I had that on the front door for the time being. Um, but now I am just going to go ahead and clean our, um, our front door. And I like to just use rubbing alcohol on the glass. Y'all Joe put me onto this and it gets the glass super clean and streak free. And so I'm just going to give this a clean on the inside and the outside. And so that way, when I add my wreath to the front door, it's a non-event. good deco mesh wreath you guys and I just added some faux spiders to this as well this was made all by me and so now moving on to the front porch I want to um add just some I guess uh, caution tape is what you want to call it to give the front porch like that vibe of hey keep away um and to secure this i like to use alien tape it does not stick to or let's just say it does not leave residue or rips off like paint or um uh, uh, in this case, our siding. And so I like to use this as a more um, home friendly item. And that is just what I use to adhere anything on the outside. So having these hands right here was not where I wanted them to go initially. However, I could not justify going back to the store to buy like 40 more of these hands and maybe like 50 more of these uh, chains. And so I'm just putting this around our tree that we have in our front yard um, to give it more of that spooky feel and just a little bit more of that Halloween pizzazz. All right, 
it, you guys. So now everything is decorated and I'm so excited to share with you guys where everything came from. Y'all are going to be shocked because I definitely did not break the bank with this one. So let's see where everything came from. All right, so first things first, this spider web came from Dollar Tree. It was $3. And then the two faux spiders that are in the web, those also came from Dollar Tree as well. And so next, these uh, skeletons came from Michael's. Uh, they were actually 40% off. I got two of them for $19. And they are also sitting on two crates that came from Michael's as well. And those were two for 12. And then these faux pumpkins, they were actually green. I painted them black. They're from Dollar Tree. And then the flowers on the inside, I got those from Walmart. However, I did spray paint the flowers that are black they were white and so i spray painted those to give them that that spooky feel and then i just added these into the pumpkin and so i kind of cut a hole in the center and added them that way and then i just propped these um skeletons up on these boxes that i spray painted and they were brown but i spray painted them black and then just attached the skeleton with some alien tape so i ended up putting them on both sides i also forgot to mention that this mat is from kirkland's and then the actual rug mat is from hobby lobby now moving on to the wreath now, this wreath i made myself i got the wreath wire from dollar tree the deco mesh came from michael's and dollar tree and then the faux spiders of course are from dollar tree these little klingons right here that are like blood stained and that is from walmart those were a dollar 29 this caution stay away tape and this was a dollar 25 from dollar tree and then of course the are from at home and then the rocking chairs like I mentioned are from Amazon and so if you are in the market for those definitely check this out in my Amazon store now these cushions were buy one get one 50 percent off during the summertime and so i'm not sure what they are now now moving on to um my uh patio table i have another faux pumpkin here but this faux pumpkin i decided to add um a velvet spider and then i just took two hands that i got from dollar tree and put alien tape on them and put that on the side of the centronella candle. And so now moving on to my ghost. Uh, these are on, um, it's a Walmart ball that was $2.50. I duct taped that around um, a tomato cage and then I just draped that across um, with two, um, two tablecloths that I got from Walmart. And then up under this is also some Christmas uh, lights that I had. And so I have these all connected. And then I also put some little um, fluff, what do you call those things, you guys? Like little fluffy eyes, I added that as well. Now I did buy several hands, skulls, feet. And so I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. So I ended up just putting these in the mulch to kind of give that feel that the hands are coming out of the mulch. And so I added that and just mushed them down in there. Now this sign, you guys, is actually a door sign. And so I got this stick right here from Walmart. I painted it black. This pumpkin on top is from the Dollar Tree. And this sign was actually connected together by twine. And so I ended up cutting that off and I hot glued it. And I think it is just the perfect touch to the entrance of our house and so i'm definitely feeling it and that sign you guys i believe it was 6.99 um with the 40 percent off from michael's so it was definitely a steal now this right here these are actually laundry baskets that i got from dollar tree and i have two skulls hot glued together in there and then both of these um both of these clothes baskets are attached by zip ties. Joe had some of those on hand. And then I just uh, drilled a hole into the top and added this chain and then zip tied it. And I have it connected by one of those command strips with alien tape. And so this is what the front yard is looking like, you guys, um, up here. And I am definitely obsessed 
with it y'all like it definitely gives that halloween vibe from the front just driving by i do not have the backyard decorated um but this is what it's looking like you guys and like i said i'm obsessed and so if you guys have been decorating for halloween i would love to hear about it in the comments below let me know you guys now moving on to these hands uh, these are also from dollar tree and they are connected together with these chains but I did connect the chains with zip ties so that way when it's all said and done they can stay together and when it's time to take them down all I have to do is just you know just clip one zip tie and I can put these up for storage these do give a little glow in the dark feel and so I kind of like that as well now I did have this inflatable from last year and I was like you know what I want to incorporate something on this side of the house as well and so I ended up adding the um, inflatable here and then I have that connected with an extension cord and so unfortunately I have to have it running across the house like so but this connects and goes to this little panel right here and then I have my Christmas lights connected so I can plug everything in all together and so yeah you guys that's what it's looking like I y'all I for, for this being the first time that I've decorated in the house for Halloween I think I did a pretty good job let me know down in the comments below what you think about our decorations for Halloween but that is going to be it for this vlog you guys if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up let me know again if you're decorating down in the comments below I would love to hear all about it but make sure you give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you never miss an upload you guys and until next time you guys I'll see you on the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye.